November 13th. The Fruit of the Spirit Meekness. Walk worthy of the vocation, wherewith ye are called with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Ephesians 4 1 2. The meek man, according to Luther, is the sweet tempered man. Meekness and lowliness are the two aspects of the same disposition, the one toward man, the other toward God. Blessed are the meek, said our Lord, for they shall inherit the earth. It is profoundly true, because to the meek and chastened, the sweet and tender spirit, there is an unfolding of the hidden beauty of the world which is withheld from the arrogant and proud. Here is a millionaire who has just purchased a beautiful and valuable picture, which he exhibits to all his friends, taking great care to tell them the price he has paid. To him it is written all over the canvas, this picture cost me ten thousand pounds. Does he really possess or inherit its beauty? In his employ is a girl with culture and keen artistic sense. Whenever she gets the chance she enters the room in order to absorb the inspiration of the picture into her soul. Does not she really own it? So it is that the meek inherit all that is good and beautiful. All is theirs, since they are gods. One of the most exquisite gems in the Psalter is that beginning Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty. The writer describes himself as a weaned child, which at first works itself into a passion because of the change in its diet, but afterwards becomes soothed and quieted. This is the symbol of the meek and quiet spirit, which in the sight of God is of great price. To acquire this meekness of spirit, ask the Holy Spirit that he would keep your proud and vainglorious nature nailed to the cross. Next, we must believe that the meek and lowly Jesus is in our hearts, and we must ask him to live, think, and speak through us. Lastly, look to the Holy Spirit for his sacred fire to bum out all that is covetous, envious, proud, angry, and malicious within our hearts, for these are the five elements of hell. Let us always take the low seat, confessing that we are not worthy to loose the shoe latchet of our brethren. Prayer Enable us, we beseech thee, O God, to walk as thy dear children. May all uncleanness, foolish talking, covetousness, bitterness, wrath, and anger be put away from us, with all malice. Make us meek, as our Savior was. Deliver us from the spirit of retaliation. May we make peace, healing the strife and allaying the irritation of men, for thy name's sake. Amen.